The wall is being rapidly built. The economy is great. Our country is respected again. Ah, the Donald, the Donald, our president, our fearless leader, Donald J. Trump, went on a on a Twitter rant, raving about how great the economy is, how the wall is. In the wall, we have a wall, and the economy is great, and our country is so respected again. Uh, three, three, connect three lies. He also tries a new campaign slogan. Ah, I gotcha, gotcha, Donald. Trying out on Twitter, keep America great, right? Because if you come out after four years and say make America great again, I thought you were making. Amer- I thought you made America great. Isn't America great? Now he's trying it out. I'm telling you, that's what's going to come. Hey, so fucking put that shit out on Twitter. I got you, man. I fucking got you, man. Keep America great. Let's check it out. So here's Trump. Is the economy great? Is there, first of all, is there a wall being built, rapidly built? No, there's no fucking wall. A couple of, couple of patching up some holes in the fence, but there's no, you know, ma- amazing steel barrier going up. It's all bullshit, right? <clears throat> The economy is great. Is it? Mm, for who? For Wall Streeters? For the stock market is great? It's not great. Our country is respected again. Uh, mm, I beg to differ. I think that the country is, is, a, is, is faced in a profound pickle of being an, uh, an empire across, uh, across the globe, you know, overthrowing countries like Venezuela and and Syria and all the all the, the, the Europe looks at us like we're, we're insane. So, um, oops, 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 oops. What did I do here? What did I do here? So, uh, so let's look at let's look at the economy. Let's for, first of all, should we trust? Should we trust Trump? Trump's trustworthy, right? We should trust Trump, right? Let's listen to Pompeo. This is his number number two guy. I, I was the CIA director. We lied. We cheated. We steal, stole. It's it like. We, we, had, we, had entire, we had entire training courses. Uh, it, uh, it, it, it reminds you of the, uh, uh, the glory of the American experiment. The glory of the American I, I, experiment. I was the CIA director. We lied, is, we cheated, we steal, stole. That's, we lied, we cheated, we stole. We, <laughs> we cheated, we steal, stole. That's, 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 you fat fuck. Uh, so we should we should believe uh, everything Trump is saying, right? We'll go back to his tweets because there's a lot of them. But look at this first, right? Let's just get the just get a little background on the economy, the reality for most Americans. Americans continue to dig themselves in deeper and deeper hole. While many have no savings, they continue to pile on debt and liabilities. All of these problems will make the next recession difficult for most to get through financially. A report by Forbes states 23%, nearly one in four Americans, are saving not even one penny from their paychecks. As part of a 2019 savings survey, First National Bank of Omaha, Americans' habits, behaviors, and priorities when it comes to savings, monthly spending, and retirement plans. So they're saying one in four don't save a penny. Based on the fact that nearly 80% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck, the rest of, of the results uh, of the survey are unfortunately unsurprising. 80% of the country's living paycheck to paycheck, and that's, that's a good economy. That's a great economy. I, I beg to differ. Where is the relaxation? You, you stop working and you die. You starve to death. You go on welfare. You go got to get food stamps. You got you to gotta go ask for a handout. That's what happens, right? Keep working. Keep moving. Keep moving forward. Stop and it will run you over. That's that's what you call a good economy. I don't agree. According to the survey, only 40% of Americans prioritize their savings for their emergency fund, with 27% saying their highest priority is savings. Right? But those few decent statistics don't detract the scary ones, such as 60% of Americans do not set annual savings goals, and 74% of Americans put, put 10% or less of their monthly paycheck towards savings. Right. Almost half, 49%, said they, they only have enough liquid funds 
to cover living expenses for zero to three months, and 26% attribute high costs of living as to why they don't have as much in their savings. Now, I know the 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 uh, the oligarchs and the banks and the the conservative right says work harder. You just spend all your money, save more. It's your fault. <clears throat> but the but the reality is. People would rather eat than save. People would rather pay their rent than save. People would rather have clothes on their back than save, right? So it's it's a choice between basic human needs and savings, which people don't have money for the uh, for the latter anymore. Right? Um, there's and then they they go on to, uh, of course, bash, bash the the saver the truth is the sooner we all here it is uh individually as a society get a grip on our debt and overspending the sooner we will uh we could be on our way to real wealth and prosperity see that's the bullshit that's a that's a billionaire millionaire perspective it's as soon as individually and society get a grip on their debt and overspending Billionaires and millionaires don't have debt and overspending, right? If they do, they do maybe have debt and over and spending, but they don't have overspending. They're, they could lose 90% of their wealth and still live the rest of their lives on Easy Street. Most people don't have that luxury, right? And that's that's the, the perspective that from the 1%, because we're reading from Forbes, right? These are Forbes statistics, right? Let's go back to uh, let's go back to uh, Mr. Trump. Amazing, making America great. Now he talks about himself for about another five rants. The best thing that ever happened to Twitter is Donald Trump. So true, but they don't treat me as well as a Republican. Very discriminatory. <laughs> he talks about himself. The one that Congress wants to get get involved because Twitter is dissing him because he has different names has a hundred million, right? But it should be much higher. What does that have to do with the economy, stupid? Uh, Paul Krugman of Fake uh, News, New York Times, has lost all credibility. But what about Pompeo? Pompeo Pompeo is saying he's a liar, cheater, and he steals. And he was the CIA spook, and you made him Secretary of State. And now he's lying about Venezuela. He's lying about everything. He's lying about the economies. He's calling. He's calling for war with uh, Nicaragua and Cuba. Uh, this fucking guy's out of his mind. He's a liar. Easy to blame Krugman. Paul Krugman a, is a retard. Paul Krugman is a is a uh, you know tax and spend liberal from from a bygone you know era. Uh, he's still hanging on at the New York Times because because he keeps people stupid. He is obsessed with hatred. He said, he said the market would crash, only record highs. So Trump points to the market. Let's look at the market. Here it is. Right? At an all-time high. Like This is unbelievably unsustainable. But nonetheless, it's not open. Oh, it's open. So here we go. So uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So this is what the market looks like, right? It's right at the top. Uh, we're up 30, 30 points today. It's nothing right now. It's just trading. But look at that top right there. See this top? If it breaks out of that range, it's going to keep going, right? But does it affect the regular people? Does it make, does it put more income in your pocket, in my pocket? No, it just, it, it lines the pockets of the billionaires is the point. So Trump's reference to so the the market is never it would crash. It's never been so good. No, don't don't count on it not crashing. We're not done yet. <clears throat> I wonder if the New York Times will apologize. It's all about me. It's all about me. Right. Here's the one. Uh, <clears throat> this is a great quote. In the old days, if you were president, you had a good economy. Uh, you were basically immune to criticism. Remember, quote: "It's the economy, stupid." Today, I have. As president, perhaps the greatest economy in history. To the mainstream media, it means nothing, but it will. The greatest economy in his- in the history. That's I just read you the statistics on how people are living. 
<clears throat> one in seven on food stamps. Uh, it's a great economy. Sorry to say, but Fox and Friends is better. And he, t- he touts his buddies. Right. I will be going to Green Bay, Wisconsin for a big rally, a really big rally on Saturday evening. Big crowd expected. Much to talk about. Make America great again. Uh, he's still making America great again, but here he gives it away. Keep, keep, America, keep America great, because it is great. It is great. So, uh, so Trump, the economist, Trump, the, the, the genius economist, that the economy has never been so good. He's surrounded by liars like Michael Bolton and uh, John Bolton, excuse me. Michael Bolton's a singer. Remember that guy? John Bolton. Fucking Mr. Mustache. Mr. Gray Mustache. Elliot Abrams, the war criminal. Steve Pom- uh, Mike Pompeo, the, the CIA liar, the self-confessed liar. The self-confessed liar. I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. <laughs> Who was the CIA director? We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. Who was the CIA director? We lied, we cheated, we, we steal, stole. stole. <laughs> uh, right, so that's who that's who Trump surrounds himself with. Right, he's fucking Secretary of State. He lies, he cheats, he steals. Right, so Trump is off the rails, circling the drain, in my view. Right? you know, listen, one-term president. What's wrong with it? One-term president. Trump. Uh, Trump needs to step up to the plate and and start <clears throat> locking some people up. Uh, that's his, that was his calling. That was his his higher function in in life was to become president and drain the swamp and lock up Hillary and and Comey and all the corrupt politicians that he that he points the finger on that 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 it's their fault that that all the, everything is wrong because of them. So start locking people up, right? We know who the, the criminals are. They just ran a two year witch hunt on you, lied, make up made up a whole bullshit story, and I start locking some of them up. Do your job and then, and then step away, man. Step away. Step aside, Butch. Step aside. Marcus Conti report, reporting. Get some, uh, yeah, you listen, man. Join, join the team. Join the, join the real team of real news, real news moving forward into this uh, great time of real news. And um, you can become a Patreon. Please do it. Please do it. And uh, also, don't forget to subscribe. Marcus Conti reporting.